Hello everyone. It is Mel from Everything Marmy. Welcome to Saturday the 23rd of March 2024. And I came back with my Commit 30. I have finished this uh, planner cover as far as I'm going to go. And as you can see on the outside, can you see it all? Do I have to raise you? Let's raise you. We play this game all the time, don't we, you guys? All the time. Sorry if I'm moving the camera. So that is what she looks like on the outside. So the only thing I did differently was use the acrylic paint pens to draw lines here. My favorite colors are black, pink, white, and gold. I put two white dots there. Very simple. I did go around the entire um, planner top with this dark brown Sharpie. So now it's not that light color anymore. It's dark. And if you want to see the difference, there is another video where I present this. So this is how she looks from the front view. And she's already quite thick. I mean, we're in March. And thankfully this thing really will puff up. So the bottom looks like that. I did the same to that as well, although I'm noticing I could probably add a bit more. Just come in here and color over this cheap pleather material, which kind of when I do that, you can see the little bumps raising up because it resists um, any attention, if you will. It doesn't like it. It's an introvert like I am. <laughs> Resists attention. Okay. There's certain like places in here that could be darker, but I'm not going to overly worry about it. My main um, issue was trying to get the paint off, but then again, I actually love the flaws. And the flaws are often what make me fall for a planner. So that's what she looks like there. The back is absolutely the same as she always was. This brown color. I just used a Happy Planner pin. I did tie this ballerina down. She was loose and falling all over the place. I had two choices. I was going to use one of these like twist ties that you get on the back of charms or a piece of ribbon and what I did is you know when you buy shirts and you have those ribbons on the shoulders that you can hang them up in your closet well I ripped those things off I don't like them um, so I just used one and they look like they look like this you know so I just used one and tied it I use all sorts of wonk wonky things, guys, like elastic bands that the postman gives me with my mail. I mean, I throw it under the water and stuff, but... And then I did put the pin back on. So on the outside, my theme really looks a little bit more um, conservative and decorative in a more classy way. And this is because if I do take this book out... This is what people see. Now, when I open her up, hopefully you guys can get it all in. That is the shot there. This is the planner here. And I wish I can take photographs with the iPhone, but I can't. And that is the side pockets there. So I did use this um, laminated teapot and I will remove the plan planner but I did add this over top of Alice being on the front of this um, can I show you so underneath Alice is there with mum but for the the sake of this um, upgrade I wanted to put these houses to remind me of what I'm working on and the fact that as a mom I'm just in the background 
nowadays. So it's very symbolic. And I have this door here that I laminated with the heart to help me open it. And I put diary because when I was a child, I read a lot of those um, Judy Bloom books, Dear Diary, this is uh, Margaret. And, or Dear God, this is Margaret, I think it was. But anyway, it was her diary and I had diaries. That's how I called them was diaries. I did not call them journals. And this material here is on the side. So I will remove this. It, as you can see, she fits in here perfectly now. And so this is what the book looks like. And I'll take pictures of it and put them on Instagram. I have been putting some more on it. But this looks like a book that has been worked through for months already. And the back is pretty clear. I didn't do a whole lot on the back because I knew it would be inside the cover. But I did make this out of a file folder. I used some ribbon. I put pockets here that you could add anything you want. There's a big pocket here that it came with. I did use Happy, uh, Happy Planner and dissected it and covered up all of the goals because even though it's a Commit 30, I didn't want it to be a Commit 30 for me. And so I put some vellum in here. I put some acetate in here. Um, and when I work on it for about three months, I will do another flip from this point. But I'll just give you a sneak peek here. December, I just put a little um, piece of vellum over it. The beginning, I absolutely love. I used the extra material and some stickers. And I love this little cascading. Um, this was just a yellow piece out of a notebook. You know, those old school, high school notebooks that have those dividers in it. I cut it to size. Then I have another piece here and I had to turn it because if I left it to fit this size, I wouldn't have gotten these words in this direction. And then I have the vellum of Jane Austen and then I have everything is going to be okay and my name. And that is how she starts. And here's another one of those lovely um, plastic pieces with the bird in the background. And I'll just show you how it flips up. This is the first page. I didn't um, seal this area off. I left it like that. And... It's completely blank on those two pages where I think I'll add stickers or something meaningful. I just put vellum, pardon me, acetate in between this and this, calendar dates. And then I started by, by putting these pages on. My notes and then a quote from Ralph Waldo Emerson. And then I have these fold outs, which I am going to use. There's 33 columns and it will definitely do the year. And I plan on tracking sleep, exercise, water, um, and a number of other things. So I've got one there. And then I've got this picture here where I just love the little Papa Whimsy. I use the stickers from the dollar store. It's always raining. In fact, it's raining hard right now, folks. And I have to go for a walk after this. And today I'm very, very shaky. So I'm going to be using walking sticks uh, today. My walking sticks. There's, I, I don't think I can manage a walk without my walking sticks today. I'm just having one of those off days. I don't think I slept much at all. And if my hands shake, guys, I'm really sorry. Um... And then I have another one of these checklists, which was used for a classroom checklist from the Happy Planner. I just taped it together, folded it up, and there's Alice again. I have a fascination with Alice. Um, 
but I wanted this to be more from the view of the Chest Chestershire cat or the Cheshire cat. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. And I think I have to put some tape there because this one is not staying where it needs to stay. Where is my tape? You guys always see me play with tape, don't you? <laughs> it's one of my trademarks. But I just want it to stay down. And that's a surefire way of getting it to do that. So we'll put that over here. I hope you have a cup of coffee or a cup of tea. Please have a cup of coffee on me. Please, your first sip. Can you please, 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 when you put that first sip to your mouth and hopefully not burn it, pray. Let Mel... <laughs> Have a cup of coffee. <laughs> that would be awesome, guys. And I know it's it's a small thing, but sometimes the small things make all the difference. Um, I'm also having a little difficulty with my speech today, guys. It might sound slurred. Um, I am not inebriated, guys. I need to point this out. It's not even my medication. This is my condition. And... I have literally just taken the medication. I wasn't going to because I wanted to do this video without the medication in me because it causes some side effects. But because my ability to speak was coming out slurred, I've already tried this video twice. I had to stop for 20 minutes, take the medication, and hope that side effect, you know, or that... that um, symptom kind of subsides a little bit. Um, so there's January. Now I have to, I have to catch up guys. Okay. I did not get this from my friend, Tammy, my beautiful friend, Tammy until I think it was February, Tammy. Was it February, honey? My memory shot too, guys. <laughs> um, but she sent it to me. She's just a beautiful hearted person. I'll have her channel down in the description box. I did put this uh, acetate. So it must have been from March. I wanted to start. And I was showing you some pencil crayons here. Um, nobody asked me to show them. Do I have them up here? Or did I put them with the... Where did you put them? Did I put them with all the goodies that I have? Just one second, guys. So as you know, I have a, a, a giveaway coming up. And I have decided to include these. Um, they're acrylic metallic color pens. So... Let me just do a little something for you here to show because uh, we didn't do a pen test. And I want to kind of do a tree. What's that one? White. White is beautiful. But these are all the colors. So we can either color block down the side. That would be interesting. Or I can draw a tree down here and then color block. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I will do that. So we can use the gold. Now again, guys, please forgive me. Um, my drawing skills and my um, just my overall abilities today speech and whatnot. It's just one of those days. It's nothing to worry about. So what I do is something called scribble art, guys. And scribble art to me is exactly that. I don't really think, I just kind of do. 
and I don't often use a pencil because I think the first effort often is your best and I'm just going by what I see every day in my head and I don't really mind the fact that it's not going to be perfect because I think to myself, well, when we have children and they go to school, our children aren't taught to do this. They just do it. And it's officially spring now, guys, right? It's officially spring. Do you see how vibrant these pens are? I hope you guys don't mind that I'm trialing them, even though they're going in the giveaway. They are brand new. And I do have pencil crayons, but I'm just kind of showing you. Trees live in families. Um, and if you cut one tree down, their roots are intertwined like birches. So the entire birch family will come down. And do you see how I'm just scribbling? I'm just scribbling. It says one kind word can change the world. That's what it says. And I'm just scribbling. I've heard that a lot of people have loved watching the process of somebody else doing art, especially somebody who isn't good at art, and um, because I'm not. And I'll be the first to say that. I am not. Um, there is beautifully talented people out there in the community of the art world. And... The reason I come on here and do my art the way I do, with no shame um, at all, is because I think it's important that people understand it takes 10,000 hours to be good at something. And it takes muscle memory. And then, even after that, even if you do get to a point where you're fairly what you would consider good, um, medically something can happen and change your skills like it did with me. Um, I was, I would say, you know, okay as an artist before, um, I could paint, I could paint with watercolors, I could draw a bit, I could play my guitar really well, I could do all of those fine motor skills really, really well. I was in a lot of sports at one point in my life, and... What happens is that some, sometimes something medically will happen and um, it changes all of that. And so you either give up altogether or you say, no, no, I don't accept this. I'm not giving up. I'm not. I'm just going to carry on and be striving every day towards that place that gives me hope and gives me pleasure. Because even if I get no better than this, if, if this, this is as good as it gets, guys, then I am completely happy with this because this, this is more than enough. This, this this is so much more than enough. I, I am so blessed to be able to sit here and have this time in my life to just do art. You know, I, I, I just, art saves me, guys. Art is the epicenter of my life, of my heart, and it has always saved me. And whether it's writing stories or um, 
using the interactive reborn dolls because of their beautiful artwork or whether it's just taking a pen and a plain piece of paper. I have been so absolutely blessed in my life to get this opportunity of having art. And I think that's why I love to give back because I've been given so much and I've seen parts of the world that will never leave my mind where I absolutely know without a doubt how very, very spoiled and blessed I am, you know, and that perspective has always been kind of in me. And so That, I'm not saying any of this as a, you know, preaching um, thing. I'm not. I, I'm just saying it that this is what I love to do. And sometimes I get off on my tangents, and my kids will tell you. Sometimes I get off on different tangents, you know, of what I see wrong in the world. But... Sometimes I just want to focus on what is right with me instead of what all is wrong. And that is sort of the gratitude attitude I try to maintain in my life. And sometimes it's not easy. Sometimes it's not easy at all. It's not easy at all. So as you can see, I'm trying to integrate all of these colors because a tree just doesn't have to be your regular colors. I mean, it's spring, right? So, you know, we can, we can do loops of flowers all over, you know, just little circles. As you can see, I'm just scribbling. I have no real talent here, guys. None. None at all. I mean, sometimes I'll come back and I'll say, oh, well, maybe, maybe I'll just make that limb look like a tree a little bit more. And maybe this one too. But I, I, I don't, I don't profess to have all the answers. And I think that's a good thing. I mean, in fact, the older I get, the, the less I know. Absolutely. I would have to live 800 to 1,000 years to, to even remotely read all the books I want to read, to do all the crafts that I want to do, to meet all the people I'd like to meet, to influence the world in a way that I'd love to influence the world, um, and to even change aspects of my life of my person for the better I mean I it, it takes time because baby steps are involved and yet all of this I get so reflective when I just pick up a pen and I get to use the pen on a piece of paper and which ones haven't we used yet this is a nice one. I think this is like a bronze. So we're gonna just kind of put some bronze flowers in here. Actually, it looks more like a rose. Your tree doesn't have to look like anybody else's tree. You know, in science fiction, world building is made. And those trees are otherworldly. And when we dream at night, we dream otherworldly. So we, we have that ability. So 
I'm also just going to add a little bit down here, brighten this trunk up, bring it to life. One of my favorite movies is the Avatar movie. And I know it's a combination between like Fern Gully and something else, but I really love that idea of when you go to sleep, you could actually be somewhere else. You know, it just, it absolutely fascinates me. So tell me, what do you guys like to do to relax? Like another thing I like to do, for example, is those word searches. I used to do crosswords all the time, but then they became difficult for me. And so now I, I love the word searches when I can. You know? Like I said, this is really a scribble. Now I got two colors left. Let's see what we can do with this. It's really hard with shaking hands. I think this is the only one I'll be able to do. It's this one word. But these are really beautiful on the block paper. So if you ever get a journal with block paper, you can do that. Now, wait a minute here. Maybe I can just put some shadows in here. If I had more time, of course, I would play with this a lot more. It's just pen work. Just pen work. So I know from the comments that a couple of you knit. That's wonderful. And others were saying that you love to watch the process, so I I am so thankful for you guys. This is an E. We want to kind of outline the E. Get this back because we have a white one. Oops, you won't see that. A mistake. This N is in here. I hope you guys can hear me. I tend to get really slow, especially when I'm struggling with swallowing as I'm, I'm struggling a little bit more today. It seems to have like, I seem to have like a good day and then a day where like yesterday I was feeling fairly, um, well, I had more energy, but then I push myself so hard that I pay for it and I don't have anything called balance yet. I, I have something called old brain, new brain. And that what that means is that um, I haven't learned to adapt to the, the, the issues at hand. And so I go, you know, ham. Um, I have to pretend I know where this E is. So I pretend, or pardon me, um, I, I, like, I did more chores. Usually I cap it at, like, a general tidy and then three chores. Um, but because I had a little bit more energy yesterday, my thinking was, well, I might not have any more energy after today. So instead of taking it fairly easy, I just kind of went broke and I now see that that was a mistake because my entire body is paying for it. So if you are out there, anybody who has these kind of issues, 
um, with your body. Um, you're not alone. It's old brain, new brain. And we have to allow ourselves to, to rest. And that's okay. Resting is perfectly okay. I, I'm saying this more for myself than for you guys. I don't know how to relax because I was raised in a generation where there was literally no free time. And because my father was in the military and he was very militant, and then I joined the military, I essentially spent 40 plus years of my life in a military environment. And so that kind of mentality of no excuses, you just do, was there. Now you can see these words here. Just want to, this white, this white doesn't want to work, guys. It's brand new. Look at that. I wonder if I soak it. One quick second. back guys sorry about that but I want to show you this trick so this is a little bit of water doesn't matter hot or cold where did I put that marker I do not want to send off a marker that doesn't work I don't want to spill okay now to reconstitute your markers you get hydrogen peroxide this one I got at the Dollarama for a dollar and a quarter. You just unscrew it carefully. And what you want to do is equal portions. So I know that sounds like a lot of waste, but you can cap this, label it, put it away from your children, or just keep it for your pens. And you dip your pen into it. You see what I'm doing? And what that will do and if this doesn't work, I'll poke it straight into the eye. I've got like 20 of them. The important thing is, is that children don't get a hold of it. Oh, look at Ladybug. It's supposed to be good luck, guys. Come here, baby. Good. No, 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 no. No, no. Come here, you. Come on. You are stuck. Come here, baby. Sorry, honey. Where did you go? Oh. She's still alive. She's just gone into... See? She's just gone into protective mode. Her legs are still going, so I'm just going to run her outside. No, oh, she's walking. She flew away, guys. She's all good. <laughs> She must have come in when I came in from feeding the uh, raccoons. Okay, so let's let's get more aggressive. And I apologize for the delay. 
I've left the camera a couple of times, but I couldn't leave her there. Now, if this doesn't work, I will look around for a, a different one or just pack this case. Let me know in the comments, guys, uh, what you want me to do about this white one. Leave it out. If it doesn't work, what would you like me to do? I don't know. It's too late to kind of send it back. I could probably go and replace it. But see how they're showing up? See, they are showing up. So maybe it's just coming out clear like that. Let's see what this does once I add this. Because maybe that's how this white one works. I'm not sure. Either that or I'll find another white one. I'll go down to Opus or something and get another white one. And uh, so it might be separate. So I'm having a, a, like, you see how they're kind of showing up like that? I don't know. Like, I, I, I definitely think, like, the water and the peroxide is the solution. It's not straight in because, yeah, see, it's, it's definitely, you definitely want to do the first one, not the straight in. Half and half, because they will show up. But I don't want to linger on this page too much. But as you can see, this tree is like a city tree. And so what I tried to do when I was building it, and I don't know if any of you noticed what I was doing, but I wasn't just making a tree. Down here is a city. And up here is the universe. And that to me represents so much. Okay, and then our birds our airplanes, our travel things. We have kites. We even have balloons. So yeah, guys, I will include these, but I'll get something else for the white one. I mean, if, if that one doesn't turn out well, but I thought I would test them with you and it's a good thing I have. Um, please comment in the commentary box if that's acceptable to you all that I'll pack it but I'll probably add like another pen like say say like a jelly roll pen um, is that a white one? yeah like a jelly roll one I've got many of those and then that way I don't have to go anywhere so you'll still get, you know, and I'm going to fix that with my other marker because it's going to drive me nuts <laughs> to leave it like that. It will. And I still haven't fully done what I wanted to do, which was a plan with me.
think it's like These are really neat to go over because it does help with your calligraphy. It looks kind of gray and mucky, but it's kind of neat too, in a sense, because up here, it's brighter. And I'm getting carried away. Okay, <laughs> time to move on, time to move on. But that is my city tree. And I'll play with that. Sometimes, like, I just want to sit and play with pens. You guys, I, I will do something about this. And I apologize for that white. It came from Amazon. And, you know, there was, a, there was another thing that I bought from Amazon. And uh, it was a book. And two little pictures were cut out of it. And there was no other one. Like, it was the last one. And I was like, do I send it back? I'll never get it. So I decided not to. So here's March. Here we are now. Right? Yes. And we are here on the 23rd. So. That was last week. And I didn't do much of it. These papers have folded in. And then this is with this week. And I should pull up these cleaning icons. They'll let me? No, they won't. Okay. What are we at for time? 42 minutes? Okay, let me show you what I did with the, with the cover. So there she is there, guys. There she is there. I put some ribbon here because there was that glue here. So I just covered it up with a little ribbon, fabric glue. I used um, the gold um, acrylic paint pen here. You all saw me like glob down the uh, multi-purpose sealer and here. And then I just took the, the dot part of the gold marker and marked that. And then I put these houses here and again, my favorite colors here. So it was a compromise of adding the block, but still keeping the integrity of the brown. And then I have this clipped on here with all of these lovely paper clips that Tammy sent me. And I still have the houses here. So that's what I did. What do you think? What do you think? Is that an improvement from the brown? And please be honest. And then, of course, the back. This looks like that. So that's it for the case. So why don't we move the case for a second and do a plan with me. We've got a few minutes, I believe. I'm having a hard time seeing today, too. <laughs> My God, I'm such a mess. Um, okay, let's do the 18th to the 24th because we are here and we're behind, right? Actually, you know what? Why don't we do next week? Why don't we set up next week? Yeah, I don't, I don't really feel like going back and back planning. So just remember this hot hydrogen peroxide. It works with most of your felt pens. And I need some water, guys. Sorry about that.
Okay. So I've got a whole heap of stickers that I can use. <laughs> um, and I don't know if I want to use a sticker kit or just lay down like random stickers like part of me just wants to it's easter next week right hmm that might change things that might definitely change things okay so i do have another baggie that has more easter things in it Let's pray, shall we, that none of this falls on the ground. And I did get some more, like, icon stickers from Busy Bee Planners. They're really cute. I think I showed these to you before. The little bunnies. I don't know what you guys can see. Maybe I can lower you a little bit, can I? Yeah, I hope this video isn't a mess, guys. I am trying my very best to stay focused. Um, you know, I'm, I'm having this brain fog. <laughs> it's terrible. I just, I shouldn't have pushed myself so hard yesterday. But at the same time, I'm pleased. Oh, I love those. And I got headaches last week. A lot. I could use those for last week. Plan on doing a whole lot of that this weekend. And then look at the campers and stuff. I think I did show you guys this before. Now I'm not sick. So I, I only got these because, you know, I haven't been sick. Um, and you know, if I am ever sick, then I have them. I like these ones here. Um, mind you, my daughter did the vacuuming. And I paid her money. <laughs> so those would be good for next week. Gosh, like, I, like, yeah. Okay. What I was looking for is a kit. Let's see what we've got. I'd like something. Let's see. Oh, there's roses. I see those. Now, I don't usually like to put in full kits, but wouldn't it be pretty? Look at this. Busy Bee Planners is a, a Canadian shop, and that's why I like them, because I don't have to pay import tax. These ones here, I don't need. I really like, I really like the roses. I like the planners. They're more for journaling, but I got a couple of them. And you guys can tell by my grip, I'm very, very sorry that I'm struggling here but I think it's a good thing because um, there are days when I don't and I certainly have a deeper and greater appreciation for life when I don't and even even now like I appreciate the fact that I'm still oh look at these the Paris flowers letters to Paris I could totally like intertwine the two because they're all the same color. I'm not big on these boxes, but when you buy the set, you get those. So let's see. Let's see what we can do with all of these things. Yes, I do have stickers. 
I do. I have an obsession. I can't help it. I'm so sorry, folks. I was uh, born in the early 70s, a child coming of age in the 80s, and the greatest experience of my life was my aunt taking me, when I didn't know, to the Jackson 5 concert, the tour, in Vancouver, when I was like, was I 13 or 12? It was 85, 1985, the Jackson 5 tour, where he tried to raise money for his brothers because his dad had stole all this money. So I read or heard or something. So please don't come after me, please, Jackson family. Uh, and um, I had a blast. All my school peers were talking about going and I didn't know I was going because I came from a large family and we didn't have any money. And my aunt knew I had a, like just loved like Janet Jackson and all of them. Like I just the Jackson 5, and she took me there. I was so, my God, I was just thrilled. Her friend Cheryl and her, yeah, I, it's amazing, you know. It's just amazing to me how a memory like that can just last. It does. So these are all letters to Paris, and I've got those ones too. Did I get two of these? No, those are houses. This is letters to Paris. That's letters to Paris. Where do these houses come from? Okay, those houses are a different set. So boy. And these are letters to Paris. Okay, that's a lot, isn't it? Her prices are very reasonable. So next week, let's let's make this beautiful, because it's. How does this work? Does this work? That looks like it should be. I'm going to do something a little different. I'm going to do something a little different, I think, guys. I hope you're all in frame. I don't know how you guys can do this sitting down because I definitely cannot. Move it right over to the side. How pretty is that? And then there's these lovely big washies. I hope that ladybug is okay, honestly. <laughs> I do. I think I scared her. Poor little thing. But I think it's good luck to come across one of those ladybugs. There's a wise tale about that. Okay. So do I want those scripts? I've seen some other ones in here, didn't I? No, well, maybe I didn't. I guess these are the, the scripts. Do I have to cut them? Sorry about my arms and the screen, guys. You know what? I'm going to raise you up.
what are we at? 55 minutes, I think, if my eyes are okay. <laughs> oh. They might be a little wonky, guys, but I'm going to forgive myself today for the wonkiness of my stickers. <laughs> I just feel I have bigger battles to uh, go after. And it's going to be interesting walking with two walking poles because I am not walking with my walker. Not today. Um, it's kind of why I like the Reborn Doll Hobby. I've only ever used it once, though. I do have a stroller for my grandchildren when they were little, right? And my grandson, he's just one. And um, But yet that stroller height is perfect to use as opposed to my walker. Um, and I've only ever used it once and I highly estimated my strength that day too. That was last summer. And um, I only put one like reborn doll in it, but um, I covered it up so, you know, people wouldn't know that it was a doll and I'm like I'm fully aware it's a doll and so this sticker here I don't think is coming off but we're going to make that come off because this commit there is not going to be there so I'm going to make this a sticker and use all of it And it is wonky. <laughs> you see that? So yeah, please let me know what you think of the cover. And if you like projects like that. And you know, guys, like, I don't know if I'm going to get through my, like, everything book, my composition book. That cuts off life to do. I want to leave that though. I guess it's too late now. <laughs> I do like the idea of putting the weather in here. And I'm going to put this sticker up on Thursday morning. I do have an appointment on Thursday, but usually in the afternoons. And then see these um, lines and stuff here? I tend to use those. So let's look for some boxes because I definitely need boxes. And I also need more water. <laughs> My apologies, guys. So... Um, I'm looking at my calendar and most of my doctors, yeah, most of them are, are already on leave. I have two I can't put on here. So that leaves four, four. And my daughter, my youngest daughter is coming back for Easter, which is lovely. I still have to put the dates on here, too. Um, okay, now focus, please. I don't know why I used a little one. Because I've got... I don't know. Like, I must have bought all the sets, you guys. I, <laughs> I really don't know what I did. Because I've got, like, so many of them. But that's okay. I've got variations. Um, put this one up here. And, okay, there's one down here, but I can't put that. Um... And 
and she is coming Friday evening, maybe? I don't know. I don't know at all. Um, I have a little sticker or something. Just lay down. It says Friday. I think it's Friday. I can move that. I think she's coming here. And where are the dates? Are there no dates? Huh? I thought I had dates. That is very odd. I mean, I could write them in, but it's very odd that I don't have the dates. I'll just take them from the Simply Gilded one. Although that just seems weird that I don't have the, the dates. There's got to be a date somewhere. I mean, she had six sheets of stuff. There's got to be dates. Hmm. Oh, you know what? I do have, instead of using this one, because that would break up the set. Where is the commit 30? Uh, dates. There, I've got that date one. Do you remember me showing you guys this? So maybe it'll come in handy. I know this isn't blowing your skirt up, guys. I'm I'm so sorry. Those are pretty. So March. Is that the March one? Yeah, so we can use the dates from here. So next week starts on the 25th. These are different. They're kind of half moons. Hmm, see that covered up the Tuesday. Oh well, you guys, if I if I was to fix every little thing at this point, um, this video would be like three hours long. I just have to be the cognitive of the rest of the week, even though that'll drive me crazy and I'll change it once I'm off camera, but So this is like kind of my favorite day of the week. So I will do everything I can to pamper myself today because, oops, I lost another number. I'm going to try after my walk just to do some relaxing stuff if I can. I do just a, like, I have, like, a longer walk and a shorter walk, so we'll see how it goes when I'm out there. Oh, and I forgot to put, we're having a, another family event at my oldest daughter's house um, for Easter. 
and she'd like me to bring a fruit pie and that is gonna bug me not the fruit pie but this 26 can i get it up Yeah, no, they lo they know I love, like, fruit pies. Um, like, I would rather have a fruit pie over a cake for my birthday. Unless it's, like, one of those um, coffee and cinnamon bun cakes or something. So that looks good. So that was the Happy Planner Classic Sticker Sheets Essential Dates and Numbers. And let me go up there. Um, and I love all of these, like, planners. Uh, I left pretty early there. I'm going to put that there, because I love that. And then, when did I get my phone? To go back here. Oh no, I, it, it wasn't my phone, but it was my watch, and I got it here. When was the last time I had a cup of coffee? Okay, forget that one. We're not going to do that one. Um, we are going to do... This for the brunch and weekend. Now I'm just going to splatter on some color here and there. Do you guys use, uh, um, like, what am I trying to say? Um, sticker kits for your commit? Or do you just, like, plan with just, like, your, like, your, um, what do they call these? Your little icon stickers. Yeah, because I'll go in here with the icon stickers too. But I love the florals in this. And I'm sorry if I'm quieter today, guys. Friday. What's going on on Friday? Oh, yeah, I can't. Got this down here, but it really should be higher. I need another one. Where did I put it? Right here. I think I'll put a purple one because lately my memory's been so bad, you guys. So I have this one here. And then Wednesday one here. Okay. I know that it makes it kind of look terrible, but there's nothing I can really do about it. Now, these lists here, work to do, life to do, I, I don't really care so much about that, so I'm just going to put some beautiful birds to the side. And then I can just have the list going there. I can put my meals down here. And then I'll, ah, uh, trackers, yes. Um, and of course I'll have bills due and things like that. But there's one tracker. And second tracker. Well, I wonder if I put 
put this one. They come up very nicely on this paper. Put that one up here. Oh. Didn't do it. Spoke too soon. Let's put this over the life to do. Because you know what? Like, I'm, I'm not about... I've got like a, a regular like other planner that I do, so I'm not too worried. This one here, it's I want to capture it, but I don't want to put pressure on me. It's sort of funny that there's no numbers. Now, that planner is really big, isn't it? I like them. I like those stickers there. Where do these guys go? Let's put you here. Get some list boxes down. Mm, like that. I think that's crooked, but please forgive me. And Friday's always a good day to do some stuff. So then I've got the weekend. And then always kind of at the end of Sunday, there's a few things to do. But because I'll be going to my daughter's, I'll probably be wiped. So I should really do them up here. And get everything organized. My bills are due. Um, where do I want to put that? I'm just going to mark it here. Still do. Kind of takes away from the beauty of the page, honestly. <laughs> Still do. And then I'm going to put payday. Fun. There you go. And then I'm going to put errands. We'll put errands down here. And I've got to wrap this up, guys, because we're at like 12 minutes after the hour. And I truly wish, honestly, I truly wish I could put a cup of coffee in there. You know what? I am going to. One day. I'm going to put a cup of coffee on Monday. What the hay? What the hay? I'm going to take half the list out and I'm going to put it in there. You know why? Because I can. <laughs> in life, you have to live. Look at this beautiful planner. And I do a lot of planning, so... I can write right in that sticker. And then I've got this beautiful pen. So we'll put that there. I love these little washi strips and the scissors. Um, right there. These little bows. Right there. <laughs> you guys, I'm having way too much fun. I can go right, right there. And then I can't see that little iPod thingy, so I'm not going to use that again. I tried that once before. You guys remember, right? So I'm just going to put, like, random washi all over because... Essentially speaking, this is what I do all the time. Let's just play. Now...
planning time again. Are we going to put that right here? And I think, I think that is it for my setup. Now, of course, I'll fill it all in, guys. You guys know what I do. And then I'll come along with the icon stickers too and fill it in. But that right now is my planner. And I do have, um, where did I put them? do have some little bookmarks I'm gonna take that out and mark the page there and then I'm gonna go back to the monthly and mark it with a black one do that as a reminder here and then the yellow one I'm going to come up here look at that hair oh my goodness to here and put that in there so that is what she looks like and now I'm going to raise you up, put her back in the case. This is a longer video, guys. I'm so sorry if you don't like it long, but if you do like it long, I'm so happy. So that's what the case looks like again, guys sort of my take on Alice in Wonderland but in like a city form you know because we have to live in this world and I did take your advice for Little Black you know who you are and she does still fit in here and like I said guys I'm really sorry for uh the shakiness of my hands and um, struggling with my words and, and just shaking and all of that stuff and for even just talking about it. I'm, I, um, like I said, though, I, I do try to bring awareness because I know a lot of people struggle with a lot of different things and I try to break the stigma. Um, I'm a very capable and able person. Um, I don't look at my things, if you will, as something to slow me down. I look at it as something to propel me forward. And so that's what I generally try to do in my life, is be propelled forward. And I hope to inspire everybody on that. Please leave in the comments what I should do with the white. What would you like? Shall I go and get another... Uh, white something or um, what have you. I'm going to use this big old clip. I think I'm going to put it from the bottom. And just kind of sideways it like that. Hmm. I don't know if that's nice or not. I don't think it is. Maybe I don't need it. Maybe I don't need it. I do want to kind of keep it in here, just in case I do. And so there she is, folks. I will leave the bunny rabbit for you all to view. And remember, we are all perfectly imperfect. You are loved, needed, and wanted far, far more than you will ever know. Thank you for spending your valuable time with me today, guys. And, um, and it does close. I wish you all a blessed and beautiful, happy weekend. Saturday is my favorite day of the week. And uh, try to pamper yourselves today. Have some fun. But most of all, as you all know, 
have a blessed, beautiful, but most of all, safe day. Thank you all for tuning in. Talk to you next time. Bye for now, folks.